everyone, it's Veronica and happy Saturday to you and happy Easter tomorrow to everyone um, who celebrates that holiday. Um, just this is going to be a haul video of course, um, try to do these weekly for y'all. Um, and the first thing I'll start off with is um, a blogger event that I attended and it is um, the Houston Galleria Mall um, is owned by Simon and every year, twice a year actually, they have a spring, summer and a fall winter fashion show. Um, on the big ice rink, obviously they cover it up and everything. And um, to promote this fashion show, they have a blogger preview event. And um, at this blogger preview event, it's all Houston fashion, beauty, style bloggers. And um, we're all invited to go and we visit usually about four or five different stores. And um, at these stores, they have presentations about what the latest spring trends are and sort of what to look out for. And they show us the latest and greatest. And we kind of go on a little tour of the mall. Um, and part of the great part of that is um, you get swag bags um, from every store. And there's definitely a few standouts this year. And one of them um, is LK Bennett. And LK Bennett, for those of you who don't know, it's like a British um, shoe dresses brand. And um, most of you will probably know it because Kate Middleton made them extremely popular um, when she wore a lot of their dresses and shoes. Um, and their gift to us was this gorgeous um it's like a little keychain or it could be um i guess you could attach it to your purse which is kind of how i've been using it but it's like a little leather um gosh what are these called tassels so it's a little leather tassel in like a darker beige color and then it has these really cute charms so it has a little lk bennett charm a little heart and a little um flower so I just really love this. Um, it's, it's so high quality. It says LK Bennett on it. And I just thought this was a very generous um, gift. I mean, usually it's little things like, you know, little product samples or a coupon or something along those lines. And I just thought that this was such a wonderful gift for them to give us um, from this brand because it looks really expensive. It's beautiful. And it's something that um, is so neutral that you can really use it on any handbag you have. You could even put this on a black handbag and it would look great. So I've been... Um, Let's see, I think I have it here. Um, I've been just putting it on my Marc Jacobs bag and I just hang it off of um, this little gold thing. And then it kind of just dangles there as I hold my um, Marc Jacobs bag. So I really love this and thank you to LK Bennett um, for giving us these because it was really sweet. Um, the second standout store um, was Bare Essentials. This is their cute little bag that they um, gave us their stuff in. Hot pink, my favorite color. and. Um, I have used the Bare Essentials loose eyeshadows that a lot of you are probably familiar with, but they have a pressed um, powder line now as well, which is made for like the girl on the go. Because, you know, with the loose powders, you know, they can get all over the place. So they created a pressed line of eyeshadows, powders, blushes, and everything so that it's really less messy, it's easier, it's quicker. Um, and they gave us a gift bag full of products. And they had like full-size products, sample products. So I'm going to show you some of those. One of the um, samples we got is their primetime... Um, primer. So um, again, I'm not really a huge fan of primer. I never have been, but I'm always willing to try something once. So we did get a sample of that. Um, one of the most impressive samples we got is their Marvelous Moxie um, lip gloss. And I'm going to show you the packaging. So it comes in this little box and this is the color. Um, and the thing that's so cool about this color is it really reminds me of something that Lana Del Rey would wear. So it's like a, it's a very nudie, peachy color. Not sure if you can see that. Um, and it's got a little bit of shimmer to it, but not super noticeable. Like it's not glittery on the lips or anything. And this one is called Trailblazer for anyone who might be interested in this color. So I just thought it was really generous that they gave us a full size gloss because it really gets you um, excited and you know, you want to try the line. So I'm going to try that out. Um, and then another thing we got is their um, Bare Minerals Flawless Definition Mascara du Duo, and it's a define and volumized formula. So I'm going to try those out as well. Um, we also got um, one of their high shine eye colors. And then I'm going to take this out of the packaging so y'all can see it. That's the package. And this, this is actually what the girl was wearing in the store and it looked so great on her. So it comes on a little brush like that. And then you just, I wonder if I can show y'all. It's like a shimmery. Oh, it's so pretty. See, I hadn't opened this before, so this is the first time I'm seeing it too. So it's that shimmery bronzy brown color right there, and it's gorgeous. And it's very unique packaging. It kind of has this sponge brush, and then it just dips into the formula. So that's interesting. I'm kind of excited to try that now. 
hadn't noticed sort of how unique that was. We also got some of their new pieces from their skincare line. This is the Bare, Minimal, Bare Minerals Active Cell Renewal Night Serum. You know I love a serum, so I'll definitely be trying that out. And then we also got the Bare Minerals Advanced Protection SPF 20 Moisturizer. Looks like that, so got a nice little sample of that. Um, and then we also got one of their cute little mini brushes. So I don't, I, I don't really use mini brushes that come with stuff, but it is very cute. Um, another thing we got um, in our sort of swag bags from the Galleria Mall were some OPI nail polishes. How cute are these? So this one is called Blue My Mind, and it's it's like a bright blue with some shimmer in it. It looks like, it just looks like blue shimmer. It doesn't look like it has any kind of other like iridescent colors in it. This isn't typically a color I would wear. I actually might give this away um, on my blog because I know that some of you kind of like to try these more like wild fun colors. So I might give this away, but this one I absolutely love. It's called Red Lights Ahead Wear. And it's like a gorgeous reddish coral bright color. I can just see this looking amazing on the toes um, for spring and summer. So I'm actually really excited to um, try this one out. And then one other cute little sample we got in our gift bags is this um, Zoom, Zoom Fast Black Lash by MAC. This is interesting packaging because it's like a little sample. So see, it's like a tiny little brush. Um, so yeah, so that was a fun event and I got to meet um, a lot of other Houston bloggers. I always love meeting other bloggers because sometimes you don't know who all is out there. You kind of just know the people you know, you've know you met or maybe you read their blogs, but there's just so many other Houston bloggers out there that I'd never met before. I hadn't seen their blogs. So you know, we all exchanged cards and now I have some um, new bloggers to read. So it's exciting. Um, Okay, I'm trying to think of what to move on to next, and I guess I'll go to Target. Um, I went to Target yesterday, and um, one of the things I'm most excited about, like, ever, that I picked up there is, are these bookends. Um, yes, they're so cute, and they're only $20. I mean, if you can see that piece of coral behind me in my shelf, um, let me just grab it, actually. So this piece of coral is from Z Gallery, and just this chunk of coral alone is, like, $25. And, um, but I think that might be like real coral. This is clearly not real coral, I don't think. I think it's like they just made it it's kind of some kind of synthetic material. But um, a lot of people really love my elephant bookends that are behind me, and I did get those at Marshall's Home Goods. I get asked all the time where they're from. They're from Marshall's Home Goods. So Marshall's Home Goods, they don't carry the same stuff all the time. It's kind of like a hit or miss, and I got them over a year ago. But these are at Target right now, and they're only $20, and they're gorgeous. Like. When I saw these, I could not believe they were $20, and I almost bought two sets of them because I just love them so much, but I didn't. I just got the one, but maybe I thought it might be fun to get a second set and like spray paint them turquoise or like another bright color and use them in a different room, but for now, I just have this set, and they're absolutely gorgeous. Um, watch out when you buy these because actually one of my chunks of coral or whatever this material is broke off, but I just used a glue gun and glue gunned it right back on, so... Um, there were no issues there. Let me just put these down real quick. And then the other thing I got at Target is um, this nail polish. And I've already been like raving about this on my um, Facebook page. It's called Peach Daiquiri. And it's by Essie. And this color is absolutely gorgeous. Like I had tested it on one of um, my nails. And it's like a, it's like a raspberry gelato peachish kind of um, color and it's so bright and so perfect and I think for toes it would look amazing in the summer but I also think that this is one of those brights that can also work on your nails. I feel like there are some brights out there that I'm kind of like oh you know it might be a little too much on your nails you know it might be a little in your face but I did try this on my nail and it is absolutely gorgeous. It's bright but it's not like you know, Essie's Pink Parka, for example, which I've heard has been discontinued, that's like a bright neon fluorescent pink. And for the workplace, it might be a little too, I don't know. I don't want to use the word juvenile, but a lot of times like that hot pink is associated with, um, a, you know, a younger generation. But this is kind of a color I feel like you could wear to the office. So really love this. Um, the other thing I got at Target, and I, I wore this to bed, so I'm just going to show it to you. It's, um, it's from the line called... Um, Gilligan and O'Malley. So I don't know if you can see that tag, but I own a lot of sleepwear. It's a sleepwear line sold at Target basically. And I own a ton of sleepwear from this line. Um, and this is one of them. And it's just like a really pretty lacy 
um, black sleep dress. And the thing I love about this one in particular, I think it's $24.99 by the way, for anyone who's wondering, is that it's super long. Like on me, this goes just above my knee. And a lot of the times the sleep dresses that I buy, they're so short and I just, you know, it's fine because you're just sleeping in it, but this one's like pretty how it's a little longer and I love the lace. It act, When you put this on, it actually looks like it could be like a little black dress. So it's like something really um, pretty to go to bed in and you know, it's it's so soft. The material is soft. I've, like I said, I have several um, nightgowns um, or nighties, whatever they're called from this line and I absolutely love them. And then the last thing I got at Target that I want to show you is this um, navy blue dress. Oh, and by the way, I got this in a medium, um, the Sleep 90, and this is a small, and this dress is by Morona, and it's just literally like a simple cotton dress. Um, I think it was also $24.99, and the, the thing I like about it is how it kind of crosses over in the front, and the nice thing about it is that it crosses over, and it's lower cut, but it does not show any cleavage because it crosses higher up. Um, and the other thing I like about it, and this isn't apparent um, when you just see it on a hanger, but when you put it on, it's it cuts really, it's a really flattering cut, like right at your shoulders. Like it just looks really nice. Um, and then it's also what I like about this dress is that it's super long. I actually thought I would have to size up on this because um, I usually sometimes have to size up for the length, but I got this... I actually thought I was trying on a medium and when I got home I noticed it was a small and I thought oh well that's perfect because the length was so long on me I was so surprised and it's just this very soft sort of slinky cotton material so just for the summer it's nice to get some more lightweight dresses that you can wear to work you know because in Houston especially it gets so hot here so it's nice to have some nice lightweight cotton dresses um, the next thing I'll show you I'll do more clothes and I went to Zara on um, Gosh, when did I go? I went to Zara on Wednesday, the same day as the blogger event. And the first thing I'll show you um, are some shoes I got there. And um, just as a side note, I did end up returning the um, beige colored shoes with the pointed toe that I showed a couple videos ago because I tried to put them on in my house and they were just really painful and tight. And I just thought for $80, I should really get a pair of like, um, you know, nude colored heels or tan colored heels that are really comfortable for everyday wear. So I, I took them back. And I got these and um, they're gorgeous. <laughs> they have like a very cool sort of high back and they're just like simple everyday wear and like a black suede. Um, you could also wear these for special occasions, obviously. But the thing that's also bothering me about these now is they are really tight as well. And I got these, this is what's frustrating about Zara sizes is that it says it's a European 40, which is a nine. I always thought a 40 was a 10 for some reason and a 41 was an 11 and so on. But here it says it's a US nine. So no wonder they're really tight on me. In the store, I was able to put them on, but they are really tight on me. So I don't know if I'm gonna just try to, cause they, they were only 49.50. And I feel like that's a really great price. And they all, these same shoes come in lots of different colors too. And I just, I tried to look online and they don't have them available in a 10 online. So I bought them because I didn't want, I didn't want to not get them at all and then regret it. So I'm either going to try to work to stretch these out or I'll try to wait for them to go online and then return them when I can get them one size up. So we'll see, but these are really pretty and they also have them in like a turquoise and mint color and like a purple and an orange color. So um, and then I think they also have them in an orange and beige color, which are super cute. But again, none of them are available in a size 10 online, which is so frustrating. But they could always get more stock, so you just never know. So I'm keeping those. I'm not going to wear them um, until I see if they um, get more online. The other things I bought, and I'm like so excited about this, is one of their pink blazers. It's, um, it's from their basic collection, Zara Basic. The lining is this striped lining and it also has the same on the sleeves and it's this, this is a size small by the way, it is this gorgeous hot pink color. Hello blazer. You know, now that I started wearing, when I started my new job, I started wearing jackets all the time because I noticed a lot of people in my office also wore jackets and I always feel like you should really try to fit in with, um, you know, definitely have your own style, but I always say dress for the job you want, not the job you have. Um, and I think it's important to kind of try to emulate those who, you know, are in positions above you and try to, you know, dress more like um, the people who are above you because, you know, you want to be seen as professional and respected. So this is a nice way to um, add some 
professionalism to your outfit but still have a unique look so this blazer is beautiful it's tailored you know it looks like any other nice blazer but the the bright color really makes it um so fun for spring and summer so i'm really excited and this one retails for um 89.90 so i really love that and the next jacket i got oh my goodness it just fell the next jacket jacket i got i'm like so excited about because it is just it's like nothing I own and it's the fit of it is just gorgeous. And I'll put some pictures on my blog so y'all can see. And it's this jacket from Zara. It is like a bright turquoisey blue color. And then it has these pockets on the front. And if you'll notice on the shoulder, there's this sort of feminine, um, gosh, I can't even explain what kind of detailing that is, but the shoulders are very feminine and pretty and it's kind of like a crop style jacket. And then look, it has little gold studs. I love how Zara's doing everything with studs. So this one was a little pricier. This is a medium and this one was 129. So it's really pricey for a jacket, but to be honest with you, you can't really find that many jackets that are this tweed material and lined for less than that. So the way it looks too, it's so flattering and so beautiful that I really thought it would be a good investment to my wardrobe. And it's nice to now have blazers in my collection that are of different, um, styles and colors and because I don't own anything that has the little flat pockets like that and I don't own any blazer um, in that color so I just thought that would be a good investment and then I'm looking around seeing what I'm missing um the last thing I'll show you um is this new iPhone case that I got um and it says as you can see it says keep calm and carry on and it has this gorgeous watercolor um sort of floral print in the background I'll bring it in close so you can see um, and this is actually something I'm, I'm working with a company called Fullerton Photo. That's a little card that they sent me with a little note that was so sweet. Um, and this is, this is really cute. It's kind of on this metallic pearlized paper. And so they have a website where you can personalize a lot of things with your own photos. So they are, I'm actually hosting a giveaway um, with them for an iPhone case. So they just said, Hey, make an iPhone case. We'll send it to you. If you like it, you can host a giveaway. So I made mine like this. You, I was going to make one with like our wedding pictures on it because I thought it would be so pretty with like a floral background in our wedding pictures. But I've seen so many of these keep calm and carry on sort of iPhone cases sold for like $40, $50 at Nordstrom and stuff. And I just thought, you know what? I'll just find the graphics on Google Images and make my own. So I really love the way this turned out. So as you can see, the, the sides are just black. But then um, it's got this gorgeous design on the back and you can customize it to say anything. You can have like five pictures on it. So if you just got married, you know, or, or if you have a friend who's getting married, like you could do her engagement pictures for her. Or another thing that I thought would be gorgeous is to monogram it. And by the way, I'll put the link to the website below if you want to check it out because you can customize anything from like mouse pads to mugs, anything. But I really love the iPhone case because it's something that's such an awesome gift. Like if you're getting married and you want to give your bridesmaids like a unique gift, how nice would it be to have all of their, um, make them all iPhone cases. I mean, if they have iPhones that are monogrammed or that maybe have a special little message from you or like an inspirational quote or a picture that you know um, they'll love. So I definitely think that this is an awesome, awesome gift and the quality is really amazing. It's got a nice shiny finish. It's definitely a sturdy iPhone case. I mean, it's not like a, you know, those huge ones that they sell that are like all rubbery. It's not like that, but I mean, the actual case is much better quality than the one that I ordered on Amazon. Um, several months ago. Some of you will remember it's the green one with the flowers. So this is a much sturdier case and I absolutely love this. So um, I will be hosting a giveaway on this soon. So definitely stay tuned on my blog for that. And um, I think that's everything. I'm kind of looking around to see if I missed anything. And I think that's everything for this week. So I thank you all for watching and um, I appreciate every one of you. And again, happy Easter um, to those who celebrate and I will see you in my next video. Bye.